Dr. Aradna Tripathi, she is the director and founder of the Center for Diverse Leadership in Science, joining me now. Thank you, Dina. How closely linked do you see environmental or society justice and the study of science? Yeah, well, I think the study of science is closely tied with justice in society in a few different ways. First of all, the study of science is at its heart really connected to people, the people who study it, the people who practice it, and therefore it's fundamentally shaped by societal issues. You know, who th th those issues actually govern who gets to be present in those spaces, who's excluded from those spaces, and what the norms of those spaces are. Uh, it also ends up impacting who gets to shape the questions that get asked. A second way that the study of science is really closely tied with justice in society is that um, there's actually ample evidence that diversity, which is enabled through justice, is actually key to scientific discovery. So having diverse uh, and inclusive groups that are fostered by justice ends up shaping the questions that get asked, the way we look at data, the models that get proposed, even how we can detect biases that would negatively impact scientific reasoning. Your research groups and research areas vary from tectonics to geochemistry to space physics. How does that broad view contribute to excellence? You know, my research and group has really been enriched by uh, working on diverse topics, working in diverse teams, uh, where people are bringing very different areas of interest and expertise because uh, because we have a, a very collaborative setting because we do a lot of team-based work uh, within my group and then with our collaborators what that means is that the systems that we're studying we can examine from a broad range of perspectives and i find that that's actually really critical for being able to equip ourselves with doing transdisciplinary work, right? So that means that we're not actually doing, um, uh, you know, more traditional work within the a discipline or even at the interfaces of disciplines, but actually at the interface of many, many different disciplines on really kind of uh, challenging problems that benefit from having uh, people with very different sets of perspectives looking at it. Tell us about the Center for Diverse Leadership in Science and why it was critical to create. I'm a faculty member at UCLA and also the director of the Center for Diverse Leadership in Science. Um, and uh, it was really, so the Center for Diverse Leadership in Science um, is really this uh, ecosystem of, of programs, of fellowship programs. We bring together people who are early career from high school through postdoctoral, as well as faculty members, and then people from the broader community, um, such that we have this expense that I, I, I like to say is from K through gray. Um, and what we do is this multi-generational um, collective of fellows is we engage together in a few different areas. We work together on growing our skills with respect to inclusion. We grow our technical skills, but then we also put what we're learning into practice. We collaborate on uh, different research questions, some of which are set by our community partners who are working in the environmental justice space, and others that are um, sci scientific questions that are actually posed in the academic sector. Really a big part of the motivation for setting up the center. Thank you.